Hey everyone, this is Borvak here for another Ramble review. This time I'm covering The Flash, uh, annual number one. Who remembers Wally West and its uh, Flash War prelude? Um, out of all the books I picked up this last Wednesday, this one called out to me because it just looks, the Flash is always good for some fun and uh, I want to know what's going on with this Flash War thing. Uh, for the cover, we've got Wally West standing here holding up the uh, empty costumes of uh, Barry Allen and the other uh, New 52 Wally West, the uh, dark-skinned Wally West. And um, yeah, so that's a little ominous, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, the story starts out with, um, we got a bunch of almost, this is ominous too, we got some empty costumes here. We've got some, just some broken down flash memorabilia here that I don't know, it just gives a little bit of a bad vibe to it. This, I had to stare at this for a while. I was like, what on earth happened to uh, to Impulse? But uh, it's obviously a puppet just like this. It's kind of creepy though. Well, we turn the page and we find out nice double page spread. Um, something happened to the Flash Museum in the, the 25th century. And uh, those of you who are um, who've read previous issues. I just read the one previous issue. What was it? Flash uh, 45. I brought this out to reference. So I've read this. This is the first issue I've read recently. So I don't know what happened leading up to this, but apparently there was a fight with some speedsters in the Flash Museum in the 25th century. And these guys are trying to find out what, what happened and what caused all this. And what they find out is that basically not only was all this uh, stuff damaged, but actually, apparently, so like some of the stuff in the museum is in the process of changing now. Something is going on in the 21st century that's continually changing the Flash Museum, even after it's been damaged like this. But apparently, Eobard, Eobard Thawn was also killed here, so they're doing some research. These are like uh, their, their law enforcement or something of the kind, and they're just trying to figure out what happened to Eobard Thawne. Uh, they say something about um, uh, Eobard Thawne, the, the one good thing uh, Thawne ever did was catch. Do you guys know what that is? I don't know what that is. If Eobard caught someone and it was a good thing, I wanna know more about this, what happened? But um, it's funny that if they say that's, that can't be true, Eobard and Thawne couldn't have been murdered here because we have uh, we have a record of all of his deaths already. <laughs> this must be a weird, timey-wimey thing in the 25th century. But not only has Eobard uh, Thawne died multiple times, but they have a record of every time, and a new time pops up, and that surprises them. So they say there's some anomaly stuff that's probably happening in the 21st century that's, that's causing things to continue to change and we uh, we skip right to that another nice double page spread we had one a couple pages ago here we had one here i think uh, to some extent these uh, annual issues they want to pad out the pages uh page length they, they try to make them double sized and they they do a little bit more story but i think they do more double page spreads as well so uh, it's it's fine you get a lot of nice artwork that way but they're they're fighting the top um we've got the new 52 wally west we've got wally west and we've got the flash in here somewhere maybe not in this panel but uh maybe this is what's affecting the timeline in the future i don't know we'll find out barry allen's here he makes a bad pun um the top uses his vertigo powers and uh the the Barry acts as a distraction, and the, the two Kid Flashes, or the two Wally West, uh, New 52 Wally West is Kid Flash. I don't know if uh, Pre-52 Wally West has a superhero name, or if everyone just calls him Wally, because Barry's the Flash, this guy's Kid Flash, so I don't know if he even has a code name currently. But they, 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 he's like, oh, you're not going to counteract my spin, or negate the whatever and they're like nah we're just drilling a hole in the ground that you're standing on and knock you out that way um so they knock him out and uh, iris west comes running the news people are there the police are there and she's like hey 
Barry Allen, you're old news. I want to know about this new guy. And he's like, oops, I'm out of here. And she seems, <laughs> look at that. She seems a little too interested in this new Flash. That is, look at that face there. Oh my goodness. I don't know what expression that is. That's just, uh, she's, she's, it's like, is there something on his face that's making her hungry or something? I don't know what that is. But he speeds off. He doesn't want to deal with her yet due to the whole timey-wimey thing. People don't necessarily remember him because he's from the pre-Flashpoint. And he's, Iris is really important to him. And so she he's worried that she won't remember him. And he doesn't want to deal with it. Probably other stuff going on with that too. But the, the Flashes, the Speedsters, run off. They get some cheap tacos. They say, you know, even with a Speedster uh, appetite... You can, um, I, uh, you don't have to break the bank to eat the tacos. Uh, and, uh, someone says something about, um, yeah, yeah. This Wally says that, uh, Barry doesn't, doesn't even eat hot, doesn't use hot sauce on his tacos, which, uh, on the one hand makes me lose a little respect for Barry Allen, but on the other hand, that, that extra, boredom of, of not even uh appreciating hot sauce on his tacos being too too plain for hot sauce uh actually makes him a little more lovable and a little bit more of a dork i wouldn't i wouldn't have thought of that of barry allen but that 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 kind of makes sense for his betrayal not a hot sauce guy so they're talking about iris and uh, barry brings up that or no no the other wally brings up that iris has been having nightmares ever since she killed eobard thawne and this Wally is like, what? I killed Eobard Thon and, and you didn't think to tell me this because? And they're like, oh yeah, well, um, you know, he kidnapped her to get to me and then he threatened us and she voiped him with a black hole gun, which I wonder, I wonder how expensive ammunition is for a black hole gun. But he's like, hey, my favorite aunt in the world who raised me uh, killed uh, our arch nemesis and you didn't think to tell me and that uh, I'm, not, I'm not really big into that. These are some emotions that you can't just drop on me like this without, you know, telling me. Should have told me sooner. All that kind of stuff. So he's running off there. He's trying to stop. Um, he's like, hey, if I really wanted to run away, uh, you couldn't stop me. And they have a little conversation. Barry's like, hey, you know, you're not moving forward with your life. I've, I've not been telling you about Iris, but, um, you know, you need to tell Iris. I haven't told you about her and what happened, but you haven't told her about you. You haven't told her about, you know, who you are, that you're, you know, because she doesn't remember him from the previous timeline. And he's basically been living in the costume this whole time because he doesn't have a life to come back to. No one remembers him. So Barry's just saying, you know, you got to move on with your life. And uh, Wally knows that it's true, but, you know, Wally's going to go figure it out. He goes to Titan's, Titan's Tower. Is this before it was destroyed? Uh, probably, because it says this whole thing. Let's get back to the beginning. I'm sorry, this is probably, I wanted this to be a short video just due to other stuff in life going on right now, but I had to pick this book, forgot it was double length, and it's probably going to be a longer video. That's not my intention, but, um, no. This next page. Uh, anyway, it says it takes place, there it is, I'm sorry, I shouldn't take this extra time doing this, but uh, this whole thing takes place um, before the flash number 39. Which again, I think the previous issue to come out before this one is 45. So this came out before 39, and yet the most recent one is 45. So this is going a little while back, it looks like. But anyway, Wally West, so, so I think this is the Titan's Tower before it was destroyed. It looks different too. It's like much more curvy and I don't know. But he's thinking about like Linda Park. He apparently revealed himself to Linda Park, who's uh, basically a soulmate. He, he's the one he's supposed to marry in the future, whether he knows it or not. And uh, uh, and then Iris doesn't remember him. So she freaked out because she didn't remember him. And then 
Iris doesn't know and she he doesn't want to reveal himself to her because he's afraid of what will happen. But he's like, hey, I know someone I can talk to. He's got an idea. And there's this girl from his past that he remembers. Her name is Francis. That's right. He calls her Frankie. So he's like, hey, we were kind of a couple back in the day. She had superpowers. She was in the Titans. Um, probably the Teen Titans. Yeah, uh, he just says Titans, but it's probably Teen Titans. Look at her. She's she's cute. Um, so he's like, hey, and look at how look at how nervous he is. That's adorable. He's like, I'm Wally West. And she doesn't remember him, but he starts talking to her, and she does. She remembers all this stuff, and it starts coming back to her, and uh, oops. Uh, she also remembers being a rogue. Um, that might have been a memory we didn't want to, to bring back up. But uh, she remembers, and she starts throwing down with, uh, with Wally. All the emotions coming back. Apparently, he brings back her power, too, which is almost something that would have happened in the... The Flash TV show of combining the pre and post Flashpoint of something triggering. That's how uh, the dark-skinned Wally West, which is the only Wally West in the Flash TV show, that's how he got his powers because he had them in a pre-Flashpoint timeline and then there was some supervillain who could bring your powers back from a, a different timeline and give them to you in a present timeline. I, I don't really like that as the origin of Wally West's powers in the Flash TV show. Uh, it almost seems like he's not supposed to have them because of that. But this is kind of a similar thing here where he's bringing back not only the memories from that timeline, but also her powers. And she's, she's, she's overwhelmed by the emotion of it and also probably the sudden, sudden powers having them back again and all the memories, the good and bad memories flooding back. Uh, so she brings them back. Apparently they were living together at some point, housemates or whatever. And she's mad at him, but he's like, hey, you know, I... I'm sorry, I shouldn't have dropped this on you. I was looking to someone to talk to. I was just trying to move forward with my life, trying to live a life outside of this suit, just trying to talk to someone who would remember me. And she's not too, you know, she's calming down, but she's still mad at him. And he's like, hey, uh, I'm going to show you something. He takes her back to her, where they grew up, and that calms her down, the smell of the trees and the snow and the memories. That calms her down and they hug and that's a nice reunion moment. And uh, they go out and get coffee and live happily ever after, at least for the afternoon, because I mean, what else is coffee if not have a happily ever after? Uh, we'll skip a few pages though. Uh, Wally um, calls in a favor. She says, hey, are you, leaving, are you living in Keystone now? And he says, no, I'm not, but I could be because uh, Nightwing has access to Batman's credit card. And so he gets, uh, uh, Nightwing calls it in and gets them an apartment in Keystone and Wally says, okay, that thing with uh, Frankie, uh, you know, didn't start so well, but it ended okay. And uh, I need to move forward with my life with Iris too. And another double page spread, because you know, he says, uh, no matter what happens, no matter the change in any timeline, I'm, I'll am i always be the Flash. And he's, I guess he's the Flash, and then he's Kid Flash, and then he's the Flash, and then he's back to his costume from the rest of this issue, which I don't know what that is. That's, that's the Flash, that's Kid Flash, that's the Flash again. What's this? Um, this is just Wally West. I don't know if he has a code name here. He should get one because he is the Flash, but I mean, Barry Allen is the Flash. Uh, Barry Allen is the original, the, the true, not to downplay him. He had the mantle for a while, but, uh, and he was really good. A lot of people, this is their favorite version of the Flash, but I mean, if, if Barry Allen's around uh, and he's the OG uh, Flash, I mean, aside from Jay Garrick, uh, he needs his own code name, I think. That'd be interesting if they did that. He needs his own name. I mean, he's the original Wally, the other Wally. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Two Wally Wests? I guess people have the first same first name and last name, but usually don't have them both in a story together. I'm sure there's another person with my first name and last name out there somewhere. If your name is John Smith, I mean, you're going to run into all this all the time. My name is not John Smith. When we go back to the future, 25th century, we got this judge guy coming up. He's like, hey, you figure out what's going on. And then they're like, yeah, we found out it was Iris West who killed... 
Eobarthon, which is kind of cool because they explained that earlier in the story uh, with uh, Barry, Barry Allen uh, back in the 21st century, that story, if I can find this again. Yeah, so they told it well, back here. They retold that story from a previous issue where uh, she killed Eobard Thon. So there, it was all, it, it feels really natural, but they weaved it all together, and I thought that was pretty cool. So the judge dude, Judge Dredd here is like, well, yeah, she might be the matriarch of uh, this, you know, the Flash family, so to speak, but she's not exempt from the law. You know, if you if you murder someone, you have to pay the price for that. And I don't know that she murdered someone. I mean, this is almost self-defense, right? I don't know. But uh, they're going to bring her in. And these guys, we've seen them throughout the, the 25th century. If you go back here, you've got these guys, same guys. You've got the girl with the hat is around here. I don't know if you can see. There's the girl with the hat. There's him. There's a guy with the hair. Um, so all these people we've seen throughout the issue. And then suddenly they're like, yeah, we're, we're going to have to fight basically speedsters to get to Iris. And uh, but we're prepared for that, and these are the the people we've been seeing throughout, you know, this story here. And this is who they are. Uh, we've got uh, Mirror Monarch Commander Cold, and uh, we've got. Can we get uh, focus, focus, focus for beauty? It'll focus someday. Um, but you can't see it because of the stupid focus. That is heat stroke. That is Weather Warlock, and that is Golden uh, Guardian down here. So these are all like almost upgraded versions of the Rogues. Oh man, are you kidding me? How do you get a How do you get a camera to focus when it doesn't want to focus? Ah, uh, move it maybe. No. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, this thing better focus. Well, we've got updated versions of the Rogues. Basically, they're um, they're going to go back and they're going to get the. And they're going to get Iris and bring her to justice, apparently. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a trash video. Um, but these are not the actual rogues. These are, the, the judge guy says this is what you were created for, to, to mock the rogues, but also to take down speedsters if necessary. So these guys... Um, they have the same powers, they look very similar, but they're not the same people. But that's kind of cool. The Flashes are going to have to face off against upgraded, uh, basically, versions of the Rogues going forward, it looks like. There we go. And this, the judge takes off his mask and he says, Zoom will make the Flashes go to war. So this is all he's doing. Uh, to be continued in the Flash War Part 1, the Flash 47, out in May. I will pick that up. 40 sticks is still to come out, I believe. Want to get that too. And so this is not Eobard Thon. This is Zoom. This is Hunter Zolomon. He's pulling the strings here. Now that we got this to focus, there we go. There's there's our, our boys and our, our girl. We're going to go back and get the speedsters. So we're going to find out what happens here. Uh, this guy's obviously up to no good, but we're going to find out what that is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Iris does have to face justice. I think it was self-defense, probably. Um, Neobard Thon is not a good guy. But, again, we'll see. We'll see. I don't trust Hunter Zalem into actually be in support of actual justice. So, Yeah, it's a good story, though. Um, good setup, I think, for the... Uh, for the Flash War that's coming up, curious about that, want to pick it up. So I recommend this book. I recommend, I recommended almost everything so far, except for the, the first issue leading up to this. And we're going to see. Uh, I didn't disrecommend it, but I, it was a, not a hearty recommend. So I'm going to read this, and then based on how this is, I might know how I feel about 45 after that. See if that was a recommend or not retroactively, depending on where they're going with it. But this I feel like is a recommend. I want to know where they're going with the, the flashes, with the flash world, with Hunter Zolomon. Good setup, good storytelling, good art. Lots of uh, double page spreads, uh, beautiful double page spreads. 
So go pick this up. If you can find it in a comic store, go pick it up, give it a read, let me know what you think. Again, I, I skimmed over it. It took like 20 minutes, even just that skimming. Um, so there's a, a plenty in there. Go read it word for word for yourself. Again, we skipped a couple pages here and there. Um, so it, it wouldn't take even longer. But go read the whole thing for yourself. If, if, if this convinces you that you want to see what happens, go pick it up. Go pick up the next issues. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And I don't think I really have anything. I think my ramble was mixed in with my review today. I don't have anything extra to add. So uh, thanks for watching the video, though. Again, I'll see you guys in the comment section if you want to let me know what you think. And I'll, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.